So, how much money do you think I make on YouTube? This is not a trick question. Pause the video right now and in the comments, take a guess. I'll give you some clues. Right now, I have 190,000 subscribers, and under normal circumstances, my new videos on average get 1 to 2,000 views. So here is the answer. As you can see, if you look at the last 7 months, on average, I make about $700 a month. Sometimes big streamers might notice you and you'll get a little boost. Shoutouts to Asmund Gold, but that's not really something that you can plan around. Which means that most of the time, you're on your own, and it's up to you to be the fire to continue to keep generating content and get the views you need each month to be consistent. On average for a normal 2 minute video, it takes me about 5-8 to eight hours to plan, write, record, edit, and upload a video. I try to upload at least one a day, and typically after about 25 videos, I make about $700. Now just to put that into perspective for you, in my home state, minimum wage is $7.25 an hour. So if I was working at McDonald's full time at $7.25 an hour, times 8 hours a day, times 5 days a week, I would make about $1,100 a month. And my point is, assuming you live in a country similar to the US, being a YouTuber, even with 190,000 subs, financially makes no sense. Because I would make more money spending that same time working at McDonald's than I currently do making videos. And that's after I've been doing this for seven years. In the beginning, when I started this channel in 2016, it took me three years to reach my first thousand subs and monetize my channel. And then I finally made $200. So I worked three years to make $200. Just think about that. If I had spent that same amount of time working at McDonald's, I could have made $41,000. And honestly, that probably would have been the smart thing to do because I probably could have paid off my college debt. But for me, just seeing how happy and thankful you guys were in the comments each video, just to have clear and concise information and answers to frustrating questions that frustrated me before. Being a 3D animator and a game developer, things that took me days to figure out instead took you seconds. And I could see the difference it was making for you guys. And I just felt that in terms of actual positive differences I could make for people in the real world, if you just measured the time I saved for everybody else, it really just felt like the right thing to do. So I continued to do it. And when things got really hard and it didn't really look like I was going to be able to continue, the support squad on Patreon came in and single-handedly shouldered most of the cost in order to keep the channel barely get by each month and eventually give me the chance that I have right now. But these are the real numbers for my channel. And I wanted to show you guys this just so you understand that you are going to be working for free a lot in the beginning. But if you keep doing it, and you just try your best every video, genuinely try your best to serve your subscribers with quality content every month, you are naturally going to get better. And the more you do, the more you'll grow. And eventually you'll get to the point where it can actually make a difference. Not just for others, but for your life as well. But you have to be patient. And you have to be reasonable with your expectations. I cannot tell you just how many people I've talked to that are like, Man, I made videos all month for 5 months and I only averaged 10 views per video. And I'm thinking, bro, it's been 5 months. You literally went from averaging 0 views to 10 views. That is 10 times the views you had before. If you can work your way up to 20 views, you will have doubled your average. So your stuff is growing fine. Just keep trying to improve it and deliver more of what you think your audience wants. So listen, you can't get mad at yourself just because things take time to grow. You have to learn to enjoy the ride. And when you do get 10 views, really cherish those 10 people. Make them the focus of your channel. And just let them know, hey, right now there's only 10 of you, which means you guys get all my attention. If you leave a comment, I promise I'll read it. And if you leave feedback, I'll try and implement that in the next video. And then you guys can let me know next video whether it's better or worse. Because those 10 views you get each video, that's the test. That is how YouTube tests you. Because from YouTube's perspective, if you can't properly take care of 10 viewers, then how in the world can you be expected to take care of a hundred or a thousand? If all 10 people who watch your video like your video, that tells YouTube 100% of people who watch this channel like it. And that will give YouTube the confidence to show your content to other people who might also like it, based on the viewers who already do. So if you've only got 5 views per video, or 10 views per video, really try your best to make those 10 people 
feel glad they subscribed to you. Like they found some sort of hidden treasure that nobody knows about yet. And that way, when you do grow over time, they will not only have witnessed the journey, but because they invested in you early, they will be proud to have been there from day one, knowing they get to be the person that said, I knew it, I knew this guy was gonna make it all along, it was just a matter of time. They will get to say that because you didn't give up. So throughout this series, I'm gonna give you some tips and advice on things that I would do differently if I could start the whole thing over. Things that can hopefully help you improve way faster and better than I did. But I truly believe that the core principle doesn't really change. You have to try and give your viewers more of what they want. And figuring out what that is and how to do it just takes a lot of trial and error. So the sooner you start, the better. And I highly encourage you to start now. And if you're not sure what kind of content or channel you should make, if you join me next video, that is exactly what we'll talk about. So thanks for watching. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around. Oh,